This is the card that got me back into Pokemon card collecting. It kinda. This is a single strike style mustard full art trainer from the set Battle Styles from way back in 2021. And it was one of the very first hits I ever got from a modern Pokemon pack. You know, everyone was talking about Pokemon cards back in 2021 and I bought a few packs of whatever the most recent set was at a random comic shop and I pulled this. And little did I know that that would send me down this intense rabbit hole that has led to me being here today. And so completely apropos of nothing but me feeling nostalgic, I guess we're just gonna open some Battle Styles today. And a bit of a warning, the video you're about to watch was filmed a little while ago. I didn't have the Charizard playmat that I have now. It's been maybe a year since I filmed this video and I just never got around to editing it. So yeah, go to it now, play the video now. All right, I wanna go back in time a little bit in this video. Back to the far off time in Pokemon history, of early 2021. Battle Styles. So this is a Pokemon set from early 2021 that honestly, I don't think is very popular. A lot of collectors seem kind of down on this set. I think it was more made for players. Either way, it's just not one of the more talked about sets, but I have a real strong affinity for it because this was the most recent set released in the Pokemon TCG when I was getting back into the game last year. And I realized I've not done much Battle Styles here on the channel. So I figured, hey, let's grab a booster box, see what happens. So the big things that you can get in this set, as I just go absolutely ballistic on this wrapping paper, oh God. The biggest things you can get in this set are, as you can tell by the box, multiple different types of Urshifus, but the thing most people go after is the Tyranitar. There is an alternate art Tyranitar where he's sleeping when I got into this set in 2021, that was the goal card for me. It was the first ever goal card I ever had for a modern Pokemon set. And I did manage to pull it about six months later, but you know, Maybe we can, dang, that shook the desk. Maybe we can pull it again. <laughs> There's also a gold Houndoom in this set that I'm pretty interested in getting. I did have it, but I traded it to someone. So kind of looking to get another one. <laughs> Let's set the box off camera, grab the first pack. This was a really cool set to uh, open up as my first set back into Pokemon. Not because the cards on the inside are like super nostalgic or super exciting. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. But just the look of it, the look of this pack, it screams Pokemon to me. Blue and red, it just works so well for me. Me. It really gave me a vibe of like, I'm back into Pokemon and the cool blue and red packs and just cards. Oh, it was just cool. We're starting off with a Leaf Energy, moving into a Durant, Perugly, Tool Jammer, Cherubi. It's cool to see these cards. Uh, man, Lickitung, Electabuzz. These cards are becoming nostalgic to me by now. Esper, I love that one. Timber, Reverse Hollow Tepig. And our first pack ends, oh, okay, with a Scorch. Starting off simple. Now we got the Tyranitar pack. This is just a cool pack art. This set is genuinely becoming nostalgic to me at this point. I've spent like the last year or more of my life focusing in on this set as other sets came out, but like this being the set that I could easily get the quickest. Because remember, back in early 2021, when I was getting into Pokemon cards, we were seeing the huge shortages. Like no places had Pokemon cards. But when I could find them, they were battle styles. Silicobra, Houndor, we're trying to evolve that one into that gold Houndoom. Lickitung, whoa, Horsey. We got a reverse hollow Bronzor and Claydol. That's a really cool Claydol art. I like that one. All right, so we've yet to hit a pull so far. No hollows, no Vs, no Vs. I almost said V stars, V maxes. <laughs> Not traveling in time. Though, I will say it is interesting to see there is a card from Battle Styles that was reprinted for the most recent set at the time I'm filming this, Brilliant Stars. The Mimikyu V that's currently in Brilliant Stars is the exact same art as what's in Battle Styles. So I always thought that I, I kept thinking like, I've seen that art before. <laughs> I really feel like I've seen this art before. And I was right. It's in battle styles. We might yeah, we might actually see that one pretty soon. Whoa. Oh, not this time though. We got a Flapple V. The Dragon Apple Monster Pokemon. I don't know. This makes me want an apple, but it also really grosses me out. Like look at his stuffed up cheeks. Look at his pudgy globby cheeks. I don't want that in my apple. I don't want that in my apple. Moving into an Urshifu pack. One of the two different kinds of Urshifus in this. Another brilliant stars thing that was brought over from Battle Styles, the Urshifus. Ah! The VMAX Urshifus, rapid strike and single strike that you get as trainer gallery cards in brilliant stars. I'm struggling with this. Originated from Battle Styles. Those gold cards are like reimaginings of cards from this set, if you didn't know. Uh, we might see those as well. And there are alternate art Urshifus in this set, which are not the same thing as the alternate art Urshifus in Brilliant Stars. I just think that it's cool that the Battle Styles legacy is being uh, carried on by Brilliant Stars, which is a set more people seem to like. Uh, but we got a Mindfu. Yamper. Ah, that's a cute one. Gla Glammeow. Glammeow? Corefish. Scatterbug. 
Reverse Hollow Sandaconda, they are putting a Sandaconda in just every single Sword and Shield set. But this one's Reverse Hollow Rare, that's a Reverse Rare. And a Luxray, there's our first Hollow, the Luxray Holographic. Empoleon Pack. <laughs> Okay, we got a we got a Cherubi to open up and a code card to give away. Fire energy, urn of vitality, girder, uh, Cedra, Cherubi. There's that Cherubi. Per, per, oh God, I can never I can never get this one right on first try. Pachirisu, I think. Chimeco, uh, Hun Edge, Horsey. That's one I know. <laughs> Luxray! Oh, he came back. And Primate. You know, right before I filmed this, I was editing the celebrations opening that went up when this channel was first launched. And I got the Luxray level X from those celebrations packs and I called Luxray a dog only to find out several months later during the edit, Luxray is a cat. How was I supposed to know? What is Tyranitar? I don't know. I don't know what any Pokemon are. They're, they're not real. I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> I care tremendously actually. Hence why I've started an entire channel dedicated to Pokemon. I should know these things. Okay. First, um, but, uh, uh, psychic, <laughs> psychic energy. Level ball, single strike energy. Luxio, we're getting the whole family here. Timber, bell sprout. Oh, that's so good, man. It's been a minute since I've seen these battle styles cards. Bronzor, Murkrow, Horsey again. Ponyard, Ponyard, um, ha. The Fofi channel, come for the Pokemon cards, stay for the inability to speak properly. <laughs> and Claydol again. All right, we've only had one. Oh no, I picked uh, two, the packs are falling. I only meant to grab one, but uh, this one just decided it wanted to jump out of the box with me. So I'm gonna start with that one <laughs> since it clearly wants the attention of the class. We've had one V and one hollow so far. So nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing, nothing beyond just a normal ultra rare. Uh, things that I call texture rares, <laughs> like V maxes, alternate arts, full art trainers, anything full art basically with the texture on it. Nothing like that yet, but we'll see what we can do with this water energy and just the so many scrolls in the sword and shield era. Buffalant, Crawdaunt. I say the sword and shield era as if it's not exactly just what we're in right now. Scatterbug, Haun Edge, Glagar. Oh, I love that one. Electabuzz. Corinna's Focus, Reverse Hollow, and Vivillion. Oh no, Vivillon. 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 The Vanilla. <laughs> but no, I really like this Gligar. This is one of the cards from like when I first started opening the packs that I really remember because I liked Gligar as a kid. I liked any purple Pokemon as a kid. That pack straight up leapt out of the booster boxes. I was trying to grab this one just to give us nothing. Maybe it was a distraction. Maybe it was a diversion. And this one will get us actually something cool. And we got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got steel energy, metal energy, Fero, Carniv. Oh my God, Carnivine, uh, Escape Rope, Bronzor, Cacnea, Spoink, uh, uh, Roly Coley, Frillish. Chimeco Reverse, that's a cool one. And Bolton, that's cute. I swear I'm not this bad at speaking uh, normally. One of the things I've come to realize in the process of getting this channel up off the ground is that as soon as I sit down to film and I look at a Pokemon card, my brain just goes and I, I can't properly function anymore. Like something about filming these videos just makes me go Energy Recycler, Degurder, Cacturn, that's a different one, Blipbug. Pony art again. I hope I'm saying that one right. Mankey, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Reverse Hollow Golbat. That's a cool one that you really can't tell is Reverse Hollow. But behind it, oh, there we go. We got the single strike. Er <coughs> we got the single strike Urshifu V Max. Now I believe this is one of the ones that got remade as a gold card for Brilliant Stars. But this is the original single strike Urshifu V Max. Did I say single strike? I hope I said single strike. I know not a ton of people really care for battle styles in the collector scene, but uh, this is just this stuff is gonna be so 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 nostalgic for me in like, I mean, heck, it's nostalgic now, what am I saying? <laughs> but hey, we got our first big boy card and we've got a lot of packs left to go. This video is just me giving Battle Style some props, man. People need to give it some more love. Leaf Energy, Spupa, Gliscor. I'm not familiar with that one as much as Gligor. Uh, uh, Sword and Shield People, Han Edge, Electabuzz, Baltoy, Gligar, there he is, Salandit, Fomantis Reverse, and 
Phalanx. 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 So, because time is not real and I film all of these videos in advance to stockpile content, I actually don't know when this is gonna go up, but just yesterday, at the time I'm filming this, I recorded a grading return video on some modern cards, including celebration stuff. And ooh, ooh, I'm assuming it's gonna be up by now. And if it is, you need to check that out because something happened in that video that I never expected in my entire life. It was one of the greatest grading returns I have ever gotten. Granted, I've not done too many, but it was definitely a first of its kind for me. Esper, Marowak Reverse, Ooh, there's the Rapid Strike Urshifu V. There we go. Yeah, so if any of you are wondering why I've been opening some like older sets, uh, it's because I'm recording all of these in the past. Hello, it is April. Darkness Energy, Gliscor, Sword Word and Squid Word, Vero, Cacnea, Ponyard, Timber, Tepig, there we go. Glam Meow, we got the Tepig Reverse and the Tepig Regular. Durant, and uh, it doesn't want to come off. Marowak, we're getting all this stuff in both Reverse and Regular. Yeah, I guess that's the point, isn't it? But yeah, like the videos that I recorded of Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies and Celebrations and all that, those were basically recorded when those sets were more or less brand new and they just didn't go up for like eight months or something like that. Hopefully now that the channel's like up and running, I can be a little bit more timely. But we got an Escape Rope. Tower of Waters, a water tower, Silly Cobra, Frillish, Houndour, Scatterbug, Haunt Edge, Cheryl Reverse, that's a cool one, and Kingdra. Now this is a classic Battle Styles card to me. I had a Kingdra holographic from Neo Genesis in my childhood collection. So when I started seeing this in uh, Battle Styles, I got really nostalgic and it just really helped me connect with this set even more. Kingdra, yay. All right, booster boxes take a long time. So I'm gonna steal a thing from Max Mofo and do a mega pack of all four of these. We got one of each pack art from the set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up, take the rare out, put it to the side. And after we go through the rest of the cards, we're gonna do like one mega pack of all the rares. I don't know if he came up with it, but Max Mofo is the person I found that out from, so I'm just kind of giving him credit here before I do it. So we're gonna start, oh, get that off the screen for s continuity. It's just a simple open it up, take t t uh, um, take the cards out, take the code off for the front like normal, take the rare, put it there. Oh, why not? I'll just put the reverse in a separate slot as well. And we go through these, we got a Fighting Energy, Bufalent, Crawdont, Grumpig, Yamper, Lickitung, Roly Coly, Esper, and Shinx. Then we move to Empoleon and we do the exact same thing. We take the cards out of the pack, if I can get it there. Cards out of the pack, we give you the code, four to the front, rare go here, reverse go here, fire energy, single strike style mustard. Having not played sword and shield, pulling a mustard card from uh, one of my first ever battle styles packs was a little confusing. I had never heard of a Pokemon character named mustard before, but we got Golbat, Bruno, Roly Coley, Chimecho, Onyx, I like that one. Sizzlipede and Glammeow. Another Urshifu pack for the halfway point. Ugh, okay, that was the clean. That was the clean open I was hoping for. Four to the front. Rare go here, reverse go here. Darkness Energy, Bruxish, Bufalant, Urn of Vitality. Sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Remoraid, Onyx, again, I like that one. Mawile, we haven't seen that one yet. Cherubi and Pachirisu, I got it. I got the name right on the first try that time. And we're ending on this Tyranitar pack and then we'll get back to just doing packs one at a time. So we put one, two, three, oh no, that's not four. Rare go here, reverse go here. Water Energy, Bisharp, we haven't seen that one yet. Weeping Bell, okay, this is the pack full of cards we haven't seen yet. Honchcrow, Haunt Edge, Gligar, Electabuzz, Bellsprout, and Bronzor. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these rares and these reverse hollows right here and we'll see what's in this stack. Ooh, we got a Mind Shell reverse rare. We got a Blip Bug reverse. We got a Mankey reverse, that's a fun one. Han Edge reverse. And then moving into our rares, we got, ooh, another Rapid Strike Urshifu V, a Marowak non-holo reverse. Ooh, Corviknight V Max, And lastly, Cherim Hollow. So that was actually a pretty good turnout for a mega pack. We got two ultra rares, a reverse hollow rare, and a hollow. So now let's just get back to doing these things one at a time with this Urshifu pack. We'll see what happens here. Now, like I said, we're on the hunt for maybe a golden Houndoom card, maybe another sleepy Tyranitar alternate art, any of those Urshifus. Can't remember anything else. There's full art trainers, there's rainbow rares, etc., etc. You know that kind of stuff. Fighting energy, Dottler, Deblade, Pig Knight, I don't think we've seen that one yet. Timber, see a lot of Timber. Tepig, Glammeow, Silicobra, Frillish, 
Reverse Hollow Carnivine, yes, and Primate. Yeah, in that same grading video that I was talking about earlier that I said you really had to check out, there are a couple of Battle Styles alternate arts in there. I think there was a Tyranitar, the one that I pulled that took six months, and the best Urshifu in the set, the, oh, what was it called? The Rapid Strike? Let me just grab it. It was this one. I'm covering up the grade so it doesn't spoil that video, but this is in the this is in that video, and it's cool. I pulled this from a pack I bought from CVS. Sorry, I'll get back to the actual opening now. Fire Energy, Bisharp, Single Strike Energy, Camping Gear, Electabuzz, Baltoy, Gligar, Solandit, ah, Bronzor, Reverse Hollow Houndor, that's pretty cool, and another Cherim Hollow. Man, doubling up. Yeah, I know I kind of hold the pack weird. If any of you guys watch other Pokemon YouTubers, you know that whenever they open packs, they hold them kind of like this, and then they slide from the top because it kind of holds the cards flush with the hand so you can't see like the edges or anything. And I tried to do that when I first started out, but man, I am so bad at it. Like I just, see, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. So I do it like this, which is more comfortable for me because I already can't conduct myself quite right while I do these openings openings anyway. I don't need anything else getting in the way. Uh, no, another Kingdra. So I can't imagine why it would, but if the way I open packs bothers you, uh, I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to say I'm not sorry because I probably, probably am, but <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm not changing it. I'll try not to like give things away by accidentally letting the sides show like that. Uh, but we got a Seedra, Fan of Waves, Dottler, Mankey, Sizzlipede, maybe I should get a little bit closer to the mic. Baltoy, Timber, eh, Corefish, Reverse Hollow Cubone that you can barely read, and Galarian Mr. Rhyme. How many more packs of this crap we got? 15, 15 more packs. So we're more than halfway through and we have yet to see any alt arts, full arts, etc. anything above a VMAX. So I'm hoping we can get uh, at, uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can at least get something a bit more fancy than a VMAX. Though VMAXs are cool. Water Energy, Dottler, Indeedy. I don't think we've seen that one yet. How many times have I said that in this video? Crawdont, I'll get better commentary eventually. <laughs> Tepig. Pachirisu, Mind Fu, Baltoy. We got the Galarian Mr. Mime that we were just talking about. Sent a Scorch Reverse Hollow. There we go, single strike Urshifu V to match the two rapid strike Urshifu Vs we've pulled so far. All right, Urshifu time. Urshifu time to get an Urshifu card, maybe. Like half the cards in the set are Urshifus, so your luck is pretty up there if you're trying to pull an Urshifu. And there's your code, Lightning Energy, Camping Gear, Haunch Crow. I'm having fun. I promise I'm having fun and I think I'm good at what I do. But for some reason, I feel like my commentary this video has been weirdly self-conscious. Uh, Gligar, Spoink, Perugly, Reverse, and Conkledor. We've not seen this one yet and that's a very funny name. Maybe that'll be the title for this video. Battle Styles makes me feel insecure. <laughs> I like the idea of giving these Pokemon videos weird names like that, weird titles like that, because, you know, every Pokemon channel has their, did we pull it, you know, the super expensive boost, you know, those kinds of titles, like super expensive booster box or crazy pull, you won't believe what happened. They're kind of clickbaity, but you know, they're necessary. But I kind of like the idea of giving this channel like weirder names, like my vintage Pokemon opening that was called Vintage Pokemon is Consuming Me. <laughs> Zubat Reverse and Marowak. We've seen a lot of this guy, this box. Oh, and by the way, I want to I want to clear up a misconception that people have with clickbait. I think that clickbait is a term that is used a lot for something that is just marketing. Like you have to give a video an exciting title to get people to click. When it turns into clickbait is when you're not being given what the title was promised, in my opinion. Like there are clickbait titles which are promising something that doesn't happen in the video. And then there are clickbaity titles which are just exciting titles that are marketing properly to get people to click the video. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to talk about that. Frillish, Houndour. Ooh, 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 Scatterbug, Houndoom. So there is the reverse holographic Houndoom. We're trying to get this in the big shiny version. And an Electivire. I don't know, you guys know I'm a YouTube nerd, so little things like that about what is and isn't clickbait and title strategy and junk like that. It's interesting to me. This is my job. I find that kind of stuff interesting. We had a little business meeting there for a second. Fighting Energy, Firo. Grumpig with the crazy art. One of many scrolls. Galarian Mr. Mime. Scatterbug. Oh, we've got a Yamper. I really like Yamper. I want a Corgi. I, I want to get a Corgi. Lick a tongue. Zubat. Bolton. Reverse Hollow Rare. That's a cool one. 
and Galarian Slowbro. The colors on this one, man, that art is really nice. It's been a weird opening. Yeah, let's keep going with it. <laughs> Never know what's gonna happen when I start filming one of these. I go into these with the plan of hopefully it'll make sense. I feel like I always start at a somewhat level-headed place and then I just lose my mind progressively as it goes on. Steel Energy, Corinna's Focus, there's a full art of that that we could get. Carcoal, more Petco, we haven't seen that one yet. Oh my God, I said it again. Shinx. Cacnea, Ponyard, straighten that out. Timber, Tepig, Reverse Hollow Rapid Strike Style Mustard. There's, that's a lot of words. And Stonjourner. Ninth pack from the end. It has an Empoleon on it and it has Pokemon cards inside. Code card. We are still waiting on getting something above a VMAX. So we got only a few more packs left. So hopefully we got something coming up because it's been a little bit dry. It's been a little bit of a dry box, but that's fine. Corefish. Cacnea, Mawile, Spoink, Reverse Hollow Sandaconda, that's a reverse rare, and Stoutland V, huh. You know, in all the Battle Styles boxes and packs I've opened, I don't know if I've seen this one. If I have, I've not seen it a whole lot. That's cool, I like this one. Double Dip Fangs and Wild Tackle. <laughs> Sounds like a menu at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> uh, I'll be here all week. Tyranitar Pack will m maybe give us a Tyranitar card. We've had two VMAXs so far, and that's kind of been it in terms of the big, big cards. So we might be due one or two more. So we'll see what this Tyranitar Pack can bring us with the leaf energy, the Donkey Kong minecart level, uh, Pig Knight, Fan of Waves, Slowpoke, Yamper, Murkrow, Salandit, Bellsprout, Seedra Reverse, I like that one, and Lorantis. There's a new one. Is that a new one? Did we get this yet? Hold on, let me check the stack of rares to make sure I'm not losing my mind. Okay, we got a Foam Mantis. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I'm telling you, whatever part of my brain keeps my thoughts organized just completely shuts off when I start opening Pokemon cards on camera. Galarian, Mr. Rhyme on the front, a code card on the back that's like weirdly off center. Leaf Energy, Cheryl, Heatmore, Tower of Darkness, for, that's a Kingdom Hearts thing right there. Uh, the Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Onyx, Spiro, Sizzlipede, we got a Reverse Hollow Crawdont, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. We evolved the Mr. Mime from earlier in the pack. All right, what's that? This has about six packs left, six packs left. And we're starting with a uh, check the card that I pulled earlier. Single Strike Urshifu Pack. I can never remember which one is the Single Strike and which one is the Rapid Strike. All right, pull it out. Rip that pack off. I threw that one for this time. I threw it for this one. I threw it for this one. Lightning Energy, Tool Jammer, Golbat, Gliscor. I'm gonna slow down. I feel like I'm rushing this a little bit. Blipbug, Pontiard, Mankey, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Murkrow reverse this time, and ooh, oh wow, how appropriate. This is perfect for this video. Single strike style mustard, full art trainer, the first ever ultra rare, first anything I ever pulled from a modern Pokemon booster pack. Oh man, that's so perfect. Oh, I like that. Oh, that makes me feel nostalgic for while I was waiting in line to get my COVID shot. <laughs> yeah, that's when I opened my first new Pokemon packs. <laughs> Let me pick that code card up off. I don't know why I threw it that time, I'm sorry. All right, that was actually really, really perfect and nice and nostalgic. So <laughs> let's see what happens after that. That might be the highlight of the box right there. Cold card, uh, four to the front. <laughs> I swear, I swear I get worse and worse at this the longer I go. Honchcrow, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Timber, Corfish, Cacnea, Energy Recycler, and an Embor Holographic. Another hollow, man. All right, we've entered the final four. The final four packs to see if there are any more textury full art cards left to pull. If there is an alternate art that we can pull. If there are any more hollows that we can pull. We might be do another V, I'm not sure. We got a Water Energy, Dublade, Pig Knight. Duh, just the scrolls, man. Cacnea, Mawile, Spoink. Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, ooh, Reverse Rare Octillery, and a Clay Doll. I was really hoping we could maybe score the regular Hollow Octillery. I love when you get double packs like that. Final countdown, third pack from the end. And... Darkness Energy, Grumpig, Luxio, Spupa, Spiro, 
Zubat. So I really like that Yoshi's Woolly World art style. Cubone, Frillish, Blipug, Reverse Hollow Entei. Ooh, that's a good one. I love Entei. And on the back is an Aegislash. And now we're at the last two. We got a Single Strike Urshifu VMAX art and an Empoleon art. So I think I'm gonna save the Urshifu for the end. And so now we open the Empoleon pack. Hooray. Here's a little insight into how little research I did on Pokemon when I was getting back into it at the start. I was opening battle styles and I was like, who's this Empoleon guy? And it wasn't until like, oh, I don't know, maybe a month ago that I realized that Empoleon <laughs> is actually now I forgot. Is it Piplup? Is it Piplup evolved all the way? It's Piplup evolved, right? Oh, dang it. Now I got to look it up. Yeah, yeah. It's the fully evolved form of Piplup. I'm sorry. I was literally trying to say that I learned something, but then I forgot and I had to look it up. Anyway, we got an Esper. That's a really cute card. Shinx, Blipbug, Ponyard, Mankey, Baltoy Reverse, and Lorantis. There's the second Lorantis. <laughs> I promise I did my research on Pokemon. I just, what, who Empoleon is just kind of slipped by me as I was learning everything else. This is the final pack of our Battle Styles booster box. This has been really nice. A little trip down memory lane of a year ago. Pokemon moves so fast that it really does feel like a ton of time has passed since this set was released. We got a Carcoal in our last pack. We got a Morpeko in our last pack. I'm gonna stop doing that now. Durant, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Timber, Corefish, Roly Coley, Reverse Hollow Dottler, and the last pack of the box has. No way! The last. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. So this is the Rapid Strike Urshifu V alternate art, dude. I was pretty sure I had close to all the Urshifus from Battle Styles, but I actually don't know if I had this one. So this is great. I know I've said some things about alternate arts not being my all-time favorite cards, and that, and, and that that's true. But I love, respect, and appreciate all the artistry that goes into these cards, man. That is just gorgeous, man. And you really get an extra level of appreciation when you can actually see it in person in front of you, the way the texture and everything reflects. It's so nice, dude. What a way to end. But that's gonna be the end of the Battle Styles booster box. But just to recap, we got Embor Holographic, Cherim Holographic, another Cherim Holographic, Kingdra Holographic, another Kingdra Holographic, a Luxray Holographic, plus a Stoutland V, Rapid Strike Urshifu V, Single Strike Urshifu V, another Rapid Strike Urshifu V, Apple V, Corviknight VMAX, Rapid Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. I always get it confused. The very nostalgic Single Strike style mustard full art trainer and the Rapid Strike Urshifu V. That is actually a really solid box. I probably shouldn't have dropped that like that. <laughs> but that is actually a really solid box and it's it goes without saying that these two are my favorites. Yeah, that went really well. Give Battle Styles a chance. It's really cool. People don't give it enough love and I think that's really unfair. So anytime you're opening a Pokemon box and it comes with some battle styles packs. Don't go, eh, go, ooh. Okay, bye.